And now we join Paddy O'Connell again in New York with the latest news of what's happening there. Paddy. I think, David, what's becoming clear is that it is not, this is not over. That is to say, uh, if you look at the pictures of Manhattan, uh, downtown where it happened, the mayor has evacuated part of lower Manhattan. That will be no surprise. But if you think back a step as to why, it's because buildings remain unstable. Uh, this is the scene around the building that collapsed, but the question being asked is what about the buildings that were standing immediately after it? Now, I don't, where I'm sitting in midtown Manhattan, have an answer to that question, but I'm afraid this question is the one that's preoccupying us because underneath the rubble is the answer to the question, how many people have lost their lives? We know there are displaced people. We know there are disgusted people all across this country, and here there are people trying to get home. But as I speak to you, David, we don't know the answer to the question of the scale of the human tragedy. The analysis, important as it is, uh, will be had, but the figures on people, we just don't know. And, and um, what sort of flow of information is there? You say nothing is really known, but is everybody, uh, are, is information still coming out from uh, the World Trade Center down there? We have an unconfirmed report of a building collapse. In, at times like this, you want to hear directly from the city authorities. I passed uh, one of the major hospitals four hours ago. They were shouting for blood donations in the street.